options for your tab bar controller. I'm just going to select something with a white background. Uh, you can work with a different color if you want. I'm going to select the existing items and delete them. Then I want to go to the document tab on the top right and I'm going to change my size. Okay, so I'm just going to start big. It's always good to design big um, and then we can always reduce it later on. So I'm just going to make a square 200 by 200. Okay, and then from here I've got my canvas that I can start working on. Uh, the other thing which will be uh, handy to do is to change our background color. So I click on that format and I want to change my background color to no fill. Okay, but we can do this when we actually export because at the moment it's going to be very difficult to uh, see what I'm drawing. Um, but let's start off. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is to add in a shape. Now, Keynote has these beautiful icon libraries which we can use for advantage. So for example, if we have um, something to do with chickens in our app, we could build in a very nice little chicken icon. Okay, but we also have the ability to draw our own. Okay, so if we're not happy with the chicken or we want to edit the chicken, so I can make this editable by right clicking on it, I can change, make his chest a bit bigger, uh, whatever I want to do. But I can also go to shape and click on this little pen icon and then draw my own shapes. So a bit like a pen tool in any other authoring app that you've used, uh, we can create our own shapes uh, to include in our icons. Okay, so I'm happy with my chicken. I'm ready to, to export this. So again, I've gone to my document, format, oops, format, and I've changed this to no fill. Okay, so it's transparent. And then from here, I can go File, Export to Images, and I'm going to choose a PNG. Okay, make sure you've clicked Export with Transparent Backgrounds. Okay, I'm just going to put this onto my desktop, call it Icons, and Xbox there, Export there. Okay, so I now have my file. Now the next thing we need to do is to make sure that we have the appropriate sizes. When we're designing for apps, we need to make sure that we design for all screen sizes. So that means with our icons, we also need to design them for all screen sizes. So I select my icon and my first one, I'm just gonna call chicken. Okay, I then want to duplicate this. So you can right click, uh, copy and paste or right click duplicate or just press Command D and it will also duplicate. Okay, so I'm going to have one which is at three times the size. I'm going to duplicate again and have one that is going to be two times the size. Okay, so first of all, with my original one, I'm going to double click on it so it opens up in preview. I'm going to Tools, Adjust Size. And I want this one to be 25 by 25 pixels. Okay, and save. File, save. Okay, my uh, two times one, double click again, open in preview, tools, adjust size. I want this one to be 50 by 50 pixels. Save, close. And my three times one, just the size. I want this one to be 75 by 75 pixels. File, save. Okay, so I've now got my three icons. Go back to my Xcode project. Go to my assets. I can select all three of my chicken icons and drag them in. And you'll see it creates a nice little set for us, our chicken icon. Now has different sizes, one times, two times, three times. Okay, when we go back to our storyboard now, and just as we did before, we select to choose our icon, because we have added in, our new images will appear in here once it's refreshed, and we can select the icon that we want to use. Uh, so now when it's booted up, I can put in my password, Log in, I can see my nice new chicken icon, which I developed. 